All right, guys, it is a super chilly morning in the bluegrass. As you can see, there's a little frost on the ground. Uh, give them a little overview of what's going on out here, Eli. Got dogs running everywhere. Look at these dogs playing. Okay, see this little playing activity here and right here? You know, the dogs love it. They like to get moving. The moving prepares them for the learning. Guys, when you're thinking about getting up and taking your dog and doing some schooling with them, doing some work with them, doing some training with them, right? you have to make sure that your dog is headed towards the schooling with a positive and upbeat attitude. Right? Schooling should never be something that gets forced on a child or a dog. Schooling should be something that they look forward to. Nobody wants to look at old boring teacher, right? So I'm gonna do some things with the dogs, right? To make myself seem like an interesting teacher. I need the dogs to think of school as being an interesting activity. Me. Maybe I'll run this way. Here dogs, here dogs, and make a little circle. Oh my gosh. Oh, or a little zigzag pattern. Here dogs. And you'll start to notice as I make myself into a more interesting teacher, okay, then I'm gonna to start to be able to hold these dogs' attention a little bit better. Oh my gosh, come on. Very nice. Now I'm starting to pick them up, a little bit at a time. Here comes Jack. Oh, Duke. Oh, Rosie. Good dog. Now they start coming around me. You're noticing my swarm around me starts getting come on, big. Dogs, come on, come on. Very nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good dogs. Very nice. Now everybody's starting to settle down. And it doesn't take that long. You know, does it take a little bit of time? Yeah, of course. You know, but does it take so much time that uh, it's problematic? Nope, because in dog training, guys, you always pay the bill. And you can either pay the bill like during your actual training session, right? Where like you're trying to get correct repetitions and you don't get correct repetitions and then you get frustrated. And when you get frustrated, it all gets frustrated and it's a lot of trouble. Or you can just take a walk. And on your walk, you can do some fun stuff with them. And don't be a boring teacher because boring teachers are, you know, it's hard for the dog to pay attention to a boring teacher, just like it's hard for a child to pay attention to a boring teacher.